Monarch's check-in bays at UK airports are like ghost towns. The country's fifth largest airline crashed into administration at four o'clock on Monday morning, much to the shock of its passengers. Everything seemed fine. Everybody started queuing us up in all the, you know, like the things. Um, and then at four o'clock, they gave us a leaflet to saying that all flights with Monarch had been cancelled. Absolutely gutted. Six hundred pounds is a lot of money to pay out, and then not know whether we're going to get it back. The collapse of the airline has affected about eight hundred and sixty thousand travellers. The UK Civil Aviation Authority has chartered planes to fly home the one hundred and ten thousand Monarch passengers who were stranded overseas when the airline fell into administration. But all future flights have now been cancelled, throwing the travel plans of 750,000 people into chaos. Some of the repatriation flights have already landed in the UK, including here at Luton Airport. But it's the future holiday makers that are going to be worst affected. They now need to rebook flights on alternative airlines. And those airlines have been cashing in on the situation, with some flights more than doubling in price since Monarch collapsed. Originally a charter and package holiday airline, Monarch has been operating for nearly half a century. But with tourism and other challenges depressing the tourist industry in key markets like Turkey, Egypt and Tunisia, it was increasingly relying on business to destinations like Spain, which were already well serviced by other low-cost airlines. It's operating in a very competitive market with overcapacity. Prices for the flights had been, uh, had been steadily dropping, so its income was reduced materially from the previous year. The collapse is most harshly felt by Monarch's 2,100 staff who are now jobless. Devastated. I'll cry again. <laughs> I am. Oh, God. Okay. Don't cry. I can't, yeah. Go to the link person. Completely. It's heartbreaking. I've got three children, and it's. It's the impact on everything, everything, absolutely everything. It's difficult, We've got to start job hunting now, so it's a hard one. Monarch is the third European airline to go under this year following the similar collapses of Air Berlin and Alitalia. Aviation experts say there are simply too many airlines operating in the short haul market in Europe and even more casualties are inevitable. Sarah Morris, TRT World, London.